person on the Christian Cynical Vision. And I'm a better at doing a career and error. We have very few places now that veterans can meet, and we are being abused by the civilians in many respects. It would be real easy if you just go ahead and relocate the property, just buy some property someplace else, and do it instead of trying to sell it, trying to buy it from the individual, because you and I know you will not be able to go buy it property for the same price that you are and the what it is at someplace else. The best thing to do is just go ahead and relocate those of us who are veterans and need a place to serve. And many of you here, where we have wasted our lives to keep you safe and then to be treated like this, when he was in the domain to take the property, build another place, relocate it, instead of an eminent domain and then abuse the veterans in that regard. Thank you for giving me a chance to speak. This is a very, very touchy subject with me as a veteran. Okay, uh, and then uh, Demi Goodman and then Arnold Sachs. George Mazzetti, Director of Policy, Congress of Racial Equality of California. I completely agree with everything that Mr. Simmons said. We treat our veterans just absolutely terribly. We tell them we'll take care of them and everything, and we don't. We put them in jeopardy after they're in jeopardy. I'm confused. I totally agree with Mr. Simmons also in this sense. If you can't find them in a replacement place in that area to service those people where the guys that risk their lives, a lot of them in foolish wars for no reason but politicians and their friends to make money, as it turns out. Then you have no business taking that property from a group like that. Go find them a replacement place. You're not even listing the amount of money you, you said you offered them in your paperwork here today, which means we don't know what you're talking about. Anybody can say anything when there's no numbers. So find them a replacement place. This kind of a group deserves that kind of treatment. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And so it's up to them to go back. Mr. Uh, Chairman, point of clarification, may I? Sure. Um, the location in question uh, in the city of Inglewood, um, uh, the action that we will take. Um, is designed to uh, come to an agreement with the owner for a relocation plan and this will cause for a new location to be determined sooner rather than later. So to those who have commented on this, uh, Mr. Simmons and others, this is a plan to expedite precisely what you're seeking to accomplish. I just wanted you to know that, okay? All right. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Sachs. Thank you. Good afternoon, Arnold Sachs. Very quickly, um, you spent a lot of time here at the board last the, the beginning of this year. But here's an agenda from May 24th with the Crenshaw Pro Project Corporation uh, regarding some funding for Tiger II agreement. So I'm wondering, a, why isn't the Crenshaw Project Corporation handling this? This item on your agenda. Why is this put before the board? You just specifically created this Crenshaw Project Corporation to deal with the Crenshaw Project instead of a, guess what, construction authority. And the fact that this is property, would this property then be um, recorded at the county registrar's office like this document that shows property going to the Guess what? Los Angeles to Pasadena Blue Line Construction Authority, an entity not created by state legislation that's got was used that where public money was used to turn a benefit into a private corporation. Just out of curiosity, I'd like to know I can get a copy of that deed recorded also. Okay. Uh, the name. Yes. Supervisor. Uh, Cat, second by supervisor, uh, director Katz, supervisor. Uh, <laughs> Mayor Parkerly Thomas, without objection, so ordered. We're going to go into the same issue. Right, Mr. Right Mr. Chair. <coughs> and let me just say, Mr. Chair, may I have a special request to have the floor for a few minutes? Is it on safety? No, sir. Not on safety. Can you do it after the safety report? No. Well, I'm afraid this may be my last time to address the board as a quorum. 
Um, so it's a, it's a statement that I have. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, colleagues, members of the public, uh, as I said, I'd like to let you know this may be my last board meeting. It pains me deeply to say that. Uh, it may be my last board meeting because during the city selection committee meeting of December 6th, a few nights before Pearl Harbor attack, my nomination from the North Sector Cities of Los Angeles County was blocked. Let me remind you that I'm here representing the North County San Fernando Valley Cities. They unanimously nominated me to represent them on this board. And I have done so for six plus years, I think with integrity and distinction. However, during the meeting, which requires a confirmation vote by the 87 members of the Los Angeles County Division, my nomination was blocked. And I'm sad to say it was blocked primarily after an urging by my colleague, John Fasana, by the work of his MTA staffer, Mary Lou, and by the mayor of Alhambra, Barbara Messina. Now you're thinking, they don't have any cities in the North County. And you're right, they don't. And then you're thinking, isn't each sector supposed to bring one representative to the board? Isn't that how this board is made up? Five supervisors, four from the city of LA, and one from each sector of the city? Yes, you are right. But unfortunately, the nomination was blocked. It leads to troubling questions. But the most troubling is the reason that the nomination was blocked. And it was blocked for the clearly stated purpose that I am a opponent to the 710 tunnel. One issue. Disregard my work for the gold line. Disregard for the efforts we took in this board to create a unanimous vote on the LRTP, which included that gold line. And there was opposition, folks, believe me, to putting the gold line into that LRTP. It took a lot of consensus building to make that happen. But as a result, the gold line continued with its funding, and this Saturday, they're going to be happily celebrating the completion of their bridge. I'm very disappointed in my colleague, in the MTA staff, and members of the San Gabriel Cities, just a handful, that seek to block the duly nominated representative of the North Sector Cities. It is an outrage. I have a censure motion that I was going to put forth against John Fasana. But in the efforts of dignity, I decided not to do that. Because this board will break down into further chaos. This may be my last meeting. It's been a pleasure working with all of you. It's been a pleasure working with most of my board members. I would like to refer to the IG. Uh, the investigation no of the Brown Act violations, which may have occurred at that city selection committee meeting, where one member of the board approaches every other single member as they enter the meeting and urges them to vote against Nigerian. I'm not an expert on the Brown Act, and that's why I would refer that to the IG or perhaps to the I district attorney if they feel that it's necessary. DA. DA. I'm very sorry to have made this uh, very sorry to have made this announcement, but. Uh, as I said, uh, Glad you made it. I hope to see you again in other circumstances. Thank you. Yes, uh, thank you. I will just say I am an expert in the uh, Brown Act, having recently just taken another class due to a settlement with the Sango Rally uh, Council of Governments. And the Brown Act, uh, I will assure my colleagues, was not violated in this case. I will also state that there is a dual selection process for corridor reps. And there is a selection process within the corridors, which are set up based on affinity of the regions, uh, what happens within the regions. Their population actually varies quite a bit. A couple of these sectors have populations of around 900,000. The other two have uh, corridor rep populations of around 1.6 or 1.7 million. Certainly there's a goal to nominate uh, parties that represent the interests of their corridor, but there's also a dual representation on behalf of the entire 87 cities other than the city of Los Angeles. Within the San Diego Valley, there was dispute over the issue that uh, 
Council Member Nijarian, Director Nijarian correctly uh, identifies as 710 and that was the result that led to the vote that took place, which will be resolved one way or the other down the road through his sector nomination process and ultimately by the 87 cities. Thank you. Thank you. I've been kind of advised by Mr. Lay that uh, 83, which is a maintenance for the... Uh, Public the comment area. on that. It was an agenda I put it on the agenda. Uh, and, and there's only one... Uh, uh, you, it's, it's, it'll be in the Personal privilege does not the include that. Arnold Sachs uh, did sign up for uh, uh, 83, and then we will go and move the item after Mr. Sachs. It's uh, on the agenda, it's items, everything's done. He doesn't it. have to if he doesn't want to. Okay. Okay, so we have a motion by Supervisor uh, Yaroslavsky, seconded without objection, so order this. So the maintenance contract for this building. Mm -hmm. Read this motion. I have a motion on the next month. Good job. Next month.